Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to go over numbering new wires inside of SolidWorks Electrical Schematic as well as adding origin and destination arrows. If you take a look at this schematic I have in front of us, no wire numbers have been added yet. This has been simplified to a one-click process. If I go to my Process tab and choose to number new wires and say yes, SolidWorks is going to go ahead and number my wires based on the project template. If I wanted to make changes to the way that this is displayed, I can come to the project, configurations, and wire styles in order to choose a different type of display. This one will put the numbers on either side of a symbol and choose a different numbering style. This one will wire each number separately but from an equipotential. If I click apply, take a look here at these wires at the bottom and see how they change. You'll notice how they were split up. So now I have a number on either side of a symbol as well as more numbers because they are being wired by, by wire from equipotential as opposed to by equipotential. Another aspect of the software that we can use that goes hand in hand with numbering is using the schematic tab in order to manage origin and destination arrows. By choosing this option I can tile my schematic side by side and insert one at a time or by multiple insertion different origin destination arrows. The software will only allow me to pick open wire ends, not the middles, and will only allow me to choose wires of the same wire style, preventing errors and increasing accuracy. Let me repeat this process again for this green wire. And if I click close, you'll notice that these origin and destination arrows have more than one function. If I double click on them, they will take me to the next arrow in the series to show me where the wire is going to in the schematic. Likewise, if I double click this one, it will take me back where I came from. A nice time saving feature and clearly able to link which wires go where on what schematic drawings. If you like these tips and tricks, be sure to check out our blog or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.